So this right here is the right lateral thigh of a cat. What we're going to do is walk through the different muscles that are visible here. Down here we have the hamstring group, and up here we have the glutes um, and some other muscles as well. So we're going to start down here. This is the third of the hamstring muscles. Uh, this is known as the biceps femoris, and if I peel it away you might be able to see it a little bit better. Um, visible underneath the biceps femoris actually is the sciatic nerve right there. Um, right next to the biceps femoris is a thin muscle called the caudofemoralis, um, found right here. And then we have the gluteus muscles. First, the gluteus maximus, which is actually a rather thin muscle found right here, um, looping up in this manner. Underneath the gluteus maximus is the gluteus medius, visible in this area right here. And at the end of the gluteus maximus, if you follow the curve, you actually merge into the tensor fasciolata, which is found right here. And if I lift it up, you can see what the tensor fasciolata and the gluteus maximus insert into, which is this white sheet here called the IT band, or the iliotibial tract, or more simply just the fasciolata, named after the tensor of the fasciolata. Also visible down here, if we pan over, are the muscles of the lateral leg. Starting at the back, we've got the calf. And the calf is promote, uh, composed of two muscles, the gastrocnemius, found right here, and underneath it, the soleus, found right here, both of which merge into the Achilles tendon, found right here. Now, uh, also visible on the lateral leg, we have the fibularis muscle group right here. And if you feel underneath it, you'll actually feel the fibula that they're hardwired to. And then more anterior to them, we have uh, the two muscles. We have both the extensor digitorum and the tibialis anterior. If you don't do a complete dissection, uh, these actually package together and it's actually pretty easy to forget that the extensor digitorum is there. Uh, in a moment, I'll flip this over and you can take a look at the medial muscles of the cat thigh. Okay, so we've got uh, the medial right thigh of a cat uh, visible here. Um, on the surface, there are really only two muscles that are visible here. One is the posterior muscle here called the gracilis, which I'll reflect out of the way. And the other one up here, the anterior muscle, is the sartorius, and I'll reflect this out of the way. Both of these muscles were bisected during the dissection. Now, uh, what's visible here are actually three different muscle groups. On the anterior side, we've got the quadriceps group, Medially, at this triangle, we have the adductors, or the groin muscles. And then most posteriorly, we have the hamstring group, only one uh, or two muscles of which are visible here. So I'll walk through these in order. Uh, up here, the quadriceps group, we have the central muscle of the quadriceps, known as the rectus femoris, right there. Um, it's covered in a white fascia, a shiny fascia. Surrounding that rectus femoris are three other muscles, all called vastus muscles. There's the vastus medialis, there's the vastus lateralis, which is lateral, and then underneath this rectus femoris, not visible on camera, is the vastus intermedius. So to, ref uh, to repeat, the quadriceps are the rectus femoris, and then three vastus muscles, the medialis, the intermedius underneath, and the lateralis to the lateral side. The adductor group visible here, we have the adductor femoris and the adductor longus, which is a thinner, darker colored muscle. The third muscle of this group, the pectineus, is not visible because it is deep. Uh, the third muscle group, the hamstring group, visible right here, is the semimembranosus because it is the most medial of the three. And then posterior to it is the semitendinosus, visible right here. And then lastly, the uh, muscles of the leg that are visible on the medial surface. We've got the calf muscles. We've got both the gastrocnemius here and underneath it. If we peel away, we can find the soleus muscle right there. And then also visible on the medial surface, we have the flexor digitorum here, and you can see its tendon, um, as well as the tibialis anterior, which is also visible on the lateral side.